Hello, hello everyone. My name is Dr. Abhas Singh Sodia. I am postgraduate postgraduate student. My co-author is Dr. Prabhu, associate professor in Department of Education, Mahatma Gandhi Medical College, a research institute, Pondicherry. My topic is spontaneous pneumomediation and pneumothorax and subcutaneous and patient with COVID-19 patient a case series. Uh, introduction: uh, COVID-19 has been widespread pandemic in recent years with increased morbidity and mortality as well as uh, range of complication. The first case of COVID-19 was registered in India. on 20 january and the virus has been reached a peak with 5.5 million cases and uh, 91 uh, 1149 death when the mechanical ventilation is not present severe severe uh, cases of pneumomediastinum pneumothorax and subcutaneous emphysema have been diagnosed in patient with sars pneumonia pneumomediastinum and pneumothorax and spontaneous subcutaneous emphysema are uncommon condition even in patient Uh, who are not on constructive ventilation a series a rising trend in the presence of covid-19 may point at to a different cause uh, case series three patient with suspected covid-19 symptom were diagnosed with pneumomediastinum pneumothorax and subcutaneous emphysema which might have been a notice if not for a ct scan conducted at the time of admission three of these cases they have been no previous electrogenic involvement case one 30 year old male presented with emergency room with two days of aggravating bacterial associated with fatigue fever positive covid 19 patient were exposed to the workplace then he then become aware symptoms of the upper respiratory tract and have been positive eight days in advance cough chest pain nausea vomiting and headache he denied he does not drink alcohol smoke or or use recreational medicine vital examination the physical examination showed a relaxed patient with no signs of respiratory distress when they arrived on uh, air and his oxygen saturation was 98 to 99 percent but it is increased to 96 when he used a no, non rehab uh, rebreather mask at 50 liter per minute his breathing rate was 24 breathing per minute and his temperature was 37.1 degree celsius his pulse was 98 per minute and his blood pressure was 11 by 16 uh, mmhg the lung examination showed bilateral rock and the rest of his examination uh, physical was normal image study a chest relief extensive bilateral lung field with pneumomediastinum peripheral ground glass infiltration some pleural predominance as well as pneumomediastinum and sub pleural ground glass there was also mild intra lobar septal thickening in the superferior part of the anterior thoracic wall and the soft tissue of neck had been subcutaneous and facemilar track correct five hours overall finding and a severity rank of 22 by 25 covid 19 uh, rt pcr was positive This is the uh, ground glass opacity in bilateral uh, image shows. With uh, this image shows bilateral ground glass with consolidation and uh, pneumothorax also noted in this upper, lower, and middle uh, uh, shows uh, ground glass opacity. And this uh, up, uh, upper and bilateral lobes shows ground glass with consolidation. Age to 33 year old male with history of infection with confirmed age COVID-19 before presenting presented with cough for seven days and fever with moderate. Short of death during the physical exam, he seemed to be well developed young sort who was source of the source of breath. His temperature was 37 degree and his temperature was 149 by 81. Mm, his pulse was 98 per minute and on room uh, on room air. His respiratory was 42 and his uh, oxygen saturation was 85 percent, rising to 95 with 10 uh, 15 liter per minute non breathing. mass and his lung were found to be bilateral ronca and the rest of the physical examination were regular uh, or image studies on the first day a ct showed multifocal patchy ground glass opacity with bilateral pneumothorax pneumomediastinum and peripheral slight interlobar septal thickening there was no bilateral correlates fix covid 19 was detected using rt pcr uh, citrus and doxis and steroid and uh, Exogenous sodium and hydrochlorine were began, and he remained stable on non-ion supplement oxygen at 10 to 15 liter per minute. This image shows uh, the six image, five image shows bilateral ground glass opacity with uh, cystic lesion and inter interlobar septal thickening. Uh, this image shows uh, sub sub pleural inflammatory changes uh, is noted in this uh, in this count. It shows bilateral ground glass opacity, bilateral and lower lobe in this bronchial cystic. Uh, uh progostatic uh, traction progress is noted with ground glass opacity uh case 361 year old present with 7 years of uh, 7 years cough breathlessness the temperature was uh, 37 degree heart rate was 145 rate was uh, 33 per minute blood pressure was 
151.99 and uh, on high flow nasal volume coarse breath trachea with muscle are all found during the physical test image studying admission ground glass opacity interlobe septic in bilateral lung fluid diffuse pneumomedicinum and bilateral uh, yeah, pneumomedicinum bilateral lung fluid and diffuse uh, subcutaneous effects are noted in the bilateral uh, bilateral chest wall covid uh, five was overall finding atypical uh, was carried out the patient was transferred to icu and he carried out uh, uh, this is ground glass opacity with uh, in this image shows and pneumothorax was noted in the bilateral ground glass opacity is noted with pneumomediastinum and pneumothorax and uh, this image shows ground glass opacity and with consolidation the conclusion pneumothorax like all are emphysema rare long lasting hospital the complication of covid 19 And the complication management include pneumomedication, pneumothorax, subcutaneous. The incidence of pneumomediation and subcutaneous infection were increased due to trachea, combination of any immunological condition and incubation. The risk of complication could be accompanied by the other factors. Covid nineteen is lack of skilled person, and the in case of a refractory condition, it can be uh, shown for a patient to follow up regular interval with inflammatory markers and CT for and CT following up after admission. Thank you.